What's up guys, this is Mert Music, and welcome to hiding spots and glitches on every single Modern Warfare 3 map in Modern Warfare 3. Starting off with the classic OG from Modern Warfare 2, we have Afghan back. This is the little infill, we kind of ride these little vehicles into the map. But yeah, basically what I want to do with this video is go over every single map, so that way you guys can see what's new, what's the same, what's different, with the remastered OG Modern Warfare 2 maps. Okay, apparently there's a bot in here, I'll have to kick him next match, but yeah. Typically with the hiding spots and glitch videos, I do show you guys hiding spots and glitches, which I will do my best to find. Full transparency, I've already gone through Afghan, so I will be able to hopefully quickly show you guys the different hiding spots and stuff like that on the map. As far as it goes for finding glitches, I might have to revisit that if there's anything decent, but I mean, hopefully the maps are, you know, good to go and they don't have any problems. But I'll see what I can find, which by the way, they kept the classic teddy bear Easter egg over here. Love that attention to detail. We also still have red barrels, which you can shoot them and blow them up. Be careful. <laughs> Otherwise, you're gonna die. But yeah, if you guys do enjoy this type of stuff and you want to see some more early access Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer stuff, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new. I sort of have an idea of what order I'm gonna be doing these videos in, but before this video, I should most likely have a video up that's gonna showcase the brand new war game mode. Okay, well, I guess it's not brand new, but the map is brand new and it is awesome. So definitely check out that video after this if you haven't seen it already. The war mode from Call of Duty World War II is back and it is amazing. And I'm not gonna spoil the next video in this video, but I will have something pretty cool to show you guys three hours from now. But yeah, just wanted to show you guys real quick you can still get over here this is more or less a camping spot like a camping area but yes you can still kind of get out here it's not a bad line of sights to people who might be coming up over here and also i mean you can sort of camp that spot so yeah you can still do that now when i was playing the map earlier i had hardcore enabled to see what it was going to be like and i don't know if you'll actually take fall damage here i still have to get used to the vest and the new perk system and stuff like that but from what i can tell i don't think this class has anything that will actually prevent fall damage or reduce fall damage so if we fall on the mattresses like in the original oh it looks like you take fall damage but i don't know if you actually do so we're going to test this and jump over here now and Okay, I think you might take fall damage no matter what. If that is the case, I'd like to see them update this so that way when you land on the mattresses, you don't take any fall damage. That's how it was in the original, and I really hope that that is the case for this game. Again, I'm playing the game in offline multiplayer right now, so it could be different online, but we'll have to wait and see. Now, it looks like you can actually maneuver over here. I don't think this was in the original, but you can sort of hide up here. I don't know why you'd want to do that, and I don't think you can use it to get all the way back up. But there's a new little camping perch over here. Stop shooting me. I hate that I spawned this bot in, but I'm just gonna deal with it. You can run out here, but you probably won't get very far, you'll just get killed. As the game's life cycle progresses on though, there might be some kind of glitch that allows you to just run outside the map and not die. I know we actually had that in Modern Warfare 2, so maybe that glitch will be coming back. Since this game is obviously so similar to Modern Warfare 2, I will try to test that after making this video. But yeah, if we come over to this section of the map, I wasn't too big on this. This was like a pretty cool hiding spot back in the original, but it also required you to go outside the map and then back in to get to it. So this is kind of like a watered down version of it. You could just hide here. I think in Search and Destroy, people will try to utilize this, but it's just not going to be as effective. You know what I mean? Because I think overall, they just opened up this area more, which I mean, it's not terrible, but I'm just pointing out the difference between the original and what they've done here. But more importantly than anything, what exactly did they do with the plane in the middle? Oh my, can you stop? Okay, so we're here on the plane in the middle. You can still head glitch the little middle section if you want. A lot of people would camp there. But they made it a lot easier to just jump to the middle part of the plane. You could just run up the wing. And they did keep this spot here, which, I mean, that's amazing. I don't think you can go any higher. But yeah, you can get up here. Neat little hiding spot. I'm sure you're going to see people camping. Oh, I didn't really mean to fall. This bot is so annoying. But yeah, you can most likely hide here in this bush if you want to. In general, they made this a lot easier to access. Like, the jump was kind of tricky in the original, but they made it a lot more accessible in this game. Oh, I guess we can't get on top of that. I mean, maybe you can. I know you can from this side. Surprised we weren't actually able to make that jump. But yeah, you can basically climb all of this much easier than in the original Modern Warfare 2. Over here in this bunker, you still have that line of sight, but it feels like you actually have less cover. They might have lowered the head glitch over here, so this might not be that safe of a place to go to. It's very interesting, like some of these decisions are kind of geared more towards anti-camping, which is very interesting. I believe we still have these little, oh, yeah, tanks that you can blow up. So be careful if you're over in that spot. This is basically the same, oh, yep, hey buddy. Oh, careful, those pipes are about to blow up. Yep, okay, those cans blew up. We still have the red barrel. Everything else is basically the same. Oh yeah, you can still walk along over here too, which is pretty neat. You can just like wait over here. But yeah, aside from that, we have the little cave section over here. Afghan is, for the most part, pretty much the same as the original, which is really cool. Obviously, there's some tweaks to some different spots that we had in the original, but for the most part, it's 
pretty much the same. So far, I really like how Sledgehammer Games has handled the remaster for Afghan. So let's move on to the next map. Next map on the list is Derail. I really hope we can just breeze through this one. I really don't want to waste any time here. I want to get straight to the point. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are not even going to want to play this map. I might just try to do like a very brief overview of this map. I mean, look how easy it is to climb everything. At least the map is very maneuverable. If you look at the TAC map, this is one of the biggest multiplayer maps that we're going to have at launch for Modern Warfare 3. It was big in the original. It was so slow for 6v6. And all I can hope is that at some point we'll have 9v9 or like 10v10 for multiplayer. It's pretty interesting how easy it is to get across the little like carts. Not gonna lie though, if there are long shot camo challenges, this map should be pretty good for it because a lot of people, they'll just go up here and camp. Sitting up here with a thermal, just trying to pick off whoever they see over here. I don't remember there being like a ton of amazing hiding spots or glitches in the original anyway. First impressions of the map though, I mean, this is my first time seeing it. It actually looks okay. Definitely not my favorite map though. And I think we could just move on. Cause after this, we still have 14 more maps to go over. And those maps will definitely have a lot more interesting stuff to cover. But yeah, our next map is going to be a state, which we had in the beta. So, I mean, I'm not going to go over this for that long. All right, guys. So here is a state in Modern Warfare 3. It actually really looks more vibrant than I remember. Now, in the Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer beta, we actually had a new rock glitch where you could literally just crouch and hide inside this rock. But yeah, they patched it, I think, pretty quickly. I don't know if it was in the first weekend, but by the second weekend, it was definitely completely fixed. And it seems like that is still the case. You cannot get inside the rocks over here. So that's a relief. There was, however, though, a spot back over here that you could get to. And I don't know if they actually patched that. So let's see if we could test that out. We just like jump over here. Oh, they only give you three seconds. Oh, okay, you actually died now. I don't know if you can make that. If you want to spend a lot of time trying to do that glitch, be my guest, but I think they might have actually patched that too. Sledgehammer Games has actually been listening to a lot of feedback, and they've been making a lot of changes based off of the stuff that we've been showing them, so yeah. This map could be glitch-free, but we'll have to wait and see. All right, we can kind of maneuver our way over here. I mean, this is a neat little line of sight back over here. I know people will be camping around here. You can walk all the way along the greenhouse over here. So if you're playing on the map, just be really careful around this area because you never know who's just going to be waiting. I believe this is also different from the original Modern Warfare 2. You can just easily get on top of the rooftop of this building. I don't know if you could do that in the original, but just be aware of that. People can sit back here. Maybe they'll be trying to go for long shots or just camping in general. But yeah, this section of the map is probably going to be a little bit more unsafe. At least if people are camping there, you know, there's not necessarily a lot of crazy stuff on this map but i do want to show you guys how you can get on top of the roof in the beta they made it kind of tricky like you get stuck in a ledge hang but maybe they fix that because in the beta you kind of had to jump more to the left in order to successfully get to the rooftop but it looks like they might have fixed that i had a pretty successful jump just going straight up and also over here so it's not too hard to get on top of the roof but you want to make sure that you can do it quickly so that way you don't get killed but yeah this is a pretty common camping spot to overwatch this area you're gonna see a lot of people on the rooftop over here we also have this water section over here and you actually can get all the way out here no one's gonna stop you there's a little rubber ducky as well i don't know if that's an easter egg or not but yeah you can get out here you can lay down on the platform and camp if you want you can kind of sit back. I don't know who's going to actually do this, but I like to showcase these spots anyway. So that way you guys are aware of it. So that way you don't get blindsided if someone's camping here when you're playing online. But aside from that, we played a state in the beta. I already know for a fact, there's not anything too different. So we're going to move on to the next map, which speaking of which that brings us to our next map, which is favela. And we also have high rise after that. So I'll try to be really brief with those two. Alrighty, lads, we have favela in modern warfare three. I swear they actually increased the contrast. I don't know what it is. I'm on PS five right now. It's looking more contrasty than it did at least from what I remember. I could be wrong. It looks pretty contrasty over there on the recording too. But yeah, this is probably going to be the most important thing you need to know about Favela that is different from the original. You can utilize this little jump spot. Oh, wait. Don't tell me they fixed it. What? No. They fixed that. No way. What? Dude, in the Modern Warfare 3 beta, you could easily get onto this little ledge and then just walk your way all the way up there. Can you... Oh, oh, they made it harder. Okay, so you have to actually jump onto the AC unit now, which could be a little risky. You could take some fall damage, but this is still an amazing way to be able to get on top of this building quickly. It's especially useful in search and destroy as long as they're not like already camping and watching it, which I'm sure people will. They will adapt to that over time. But yes, this is a very amazing jump spot, although they did make it harder. You used to be able to walk alongside that, but you just can't. I don't know if they plan to undo that or not, but... Yeah, you're going to have to go like tax sprints and then mantle. So it's a little bit trickier. It's not impossible, but for now, at least they've increased the movement skill gap for that spot. I don't know if they would have changed this by now, but in the original Modern Warfare 2, if you meleeed the mirrors over here, you would actually take a lot of damage, at least for one of them. But yeah, it looks like in the remaster, it doesn't matter. The mirrors are unbreakable and you can't even see yourself. 
I mean, I don't think you could in the original either, but yeah, that's in the little Easter egg that is just not present here. Moving on over to this roof, I don't know if they would have altered this spot as well. There was a little kind of like glitch spot over here. I feel like they patched it already. Let's see. Oh, you can kind of get on top of it. There was like this whole glitch you could do to get all the way up here and into the palm tree. I did cover it in an earlier beta video, but I don't know. It looks like they might have fixed it. Yep. Okay. I mean, you can sort of get on top of this, whatever that is. This is not an amazing spot though, and you can't actually get on top of the awning over here and then get onto the palm tree, so I don't know. Looks like they might have fixed that spot coming from the beta, but it was super useful. It was like really good for trick shotting. Looks like that might be dead now. In the original Modern Warfare 2, the plants that were over here, they would actually block bullets if you were someone that was just kind of like waiting over here or hiding here. So people that were like sitting on that box, they would be shooting through here and their bullets just wouldn't do anything. I'm pretty sure that is fixed for Modern Warfare 3. I have no idea why they would keep that, but that was a quirk in the original game. As far as it goes for other hiding spots, you should know that you can get all the way over here. You might see people hiding here in the middle of the map if you're playing online or if you're doing hide and seek. So pretty good hiding spot right here. Just be aware of that so that way you're not getting killed by people up there. Or if you're playing hide and seek with your buddies or something, that is a pretty good spot. I think there's maybe one more spot. I don't know if they fixed this one, but you could get on top of this Jeep back here and then, oh, they fixed that. At least I think you could get on top of the awnings, but yeah, they patched that. Wow, okay. So that's fixed too. I'm not seeing anything else that's too crazy, and it looks like they actually patched a lot of stuff coming from the beta, which is really interesting. Not gonna lie, they kind of patched away the fun, I feel like, on this map, but we're just gonna keep going. Next map on the list is High Rise, which was also in the Modern Warfare 3 beta, but I think it is pretty good that we're going over these anyway, because clearly there's been some changes coming from the multiplayer beta. Okay, in honor of this amazing map, we have to have the sniper rifle out. Okay, so we just loaded in on Team Deathmatch, and they did not take my advice. We did not spawn there. So I'm pretty sure for Domination and Search, you'll get the spawn shot. Wait, ooh. Is it more visible now? Or, I don't know if it's just the scope. This sniper is going to be amazing for the starting, like, quad shot, though. But yeah, guys, here is the classic on top of high-rise spot. It is actually a lot easier to do in Modern Warfare 3 because you don't have to hit a certain part of that. Like, there's just straight up a ladder now. And it makes it significantly easier to get on top of the map. And yeah, I mean, as you can see, you just follow along over here. It's really not too difficult to actually pull this off. The actual hard part is surviving. So many nerds will just kill you before you can even get on top of the map, which is super lame because most people just want to get up here and hit trick shots. As you can see, we still have all of the teddy bears on the top of the map. We still have that classic Easter egg, so that's pretty awesome. But we already knew that coming from the beta. Let's go ahead and jump on down. Now, you can use this to get on top of the letters over here if you want to, but you can also just quickly get up here just by kind of standing on the vents over here and just hit... Oh, I messed it up. <laughs> yeah, I swear you can do it. There you go. Yeah, it's just the timing. It is possible to do, and you can utilize this to, you know, pick people off, or you can try to hit a quick little trick shot from the letters over here. You can also use this to just jump to this over here. You can get on top of the building over here. What I love about High Rise in Modern Warfare 3 is that it is just significantly easier to maneuver the map. Now, you can't get on top of the helicopter, but... That would have been pretty fun if you could, but you already know so many people would be, like, camping on it and stuff. Which, by the way, all of these tanks, you can still blow those up. I shall now demonstrate that. <laughs> but yeah, if you somehow do not know this, this is how you also get on top of the crane out here. You just jump to this. Then you jump to the crane. I mean, pretty straightforward. I feel like it is easier in Modern Warfare 3 because of the movement, because we have mantling and stuff now. I don't know if you... Wait, you could mantle in the original, right? I don't know. My brain is not working too good right now, but yes, this is how you get on top of the crane. This is how you go for crane trick shots, but you can also just keep following it over here. Just gonna keep going. Wait for it. And look at that. We can get on this thing now. And you can also just keep following this, and now you can get into this room, which is pretty neat. Don't shoot that. Or maybe you can. Oh, I guess it won't kill you. Look at that. Haha. <laughs> oh, maybe you can die. You can also get on top of this ladder over here, and then get on top of this can kind of camp over here and go over here as well. Not gonna lie though, people who camp up here, they're gonna be really annoying to deal with. So just be aware of that though. Like if you're playing this map, people can go there and hide. But yeah, High Rise in Modern Warfare 3 is way more easy to maneuver. I wouldn't be surprised if we find more spots or like more glitches and stuff like that as the game progresses. But we did have this map in the beta and I do want to move on to some of the other maps that we haven't even seen yet. Okay, so for our next map, we're gonna be playing Invasion. I don't remember Invasion having too many crazy spots, but I'm really curious to see how the map's gonna be either the same or different from Modern Warfare 2. Okay, so obviously we skipped the infill because I just want to get in here fast. But yeah, I mean, this is looking pretty good so far. This isn't just me, right? Like, the map is, like, actually kind of gray, but all the colors just pop so nicely. But yeah, you can still get way over here. You're 
probably going to have people hiding way back over here. And they might sort of have a line of sight through here to be able to shoot people. So just be careful if someone's camping over here. They can get on top of the trucks as well. So they can utilize that if they really want to. Honestly, I have not played Invasion in a minute. Oh, they added doors here. Okay. Modern Warfare. I know this was a really popular head glitch and yeah, you can mount here now too. So you can watch the middle lane and also the left lane over here. From what I can tell though, everything over here pretty much looks the same. Yeah, oh, you can be mounting there now. Great. Oh, you can mount on this side too. Oh, geez. Well, there you go. Camping on this side of the map is going to be next level annoying. Is this more open than before? I don't know, honestly. It feels like it is though. Wait, we have a ladder here now. I swear that's different. Maybe it's not. The muscle memory is still there. Yeah, this all feels the same. Wait, can you get on top of that? Oh, you can. Oh, a little counter to this side now. I don't think this was here in the original. You can use that to kind of mantle up here. Wait, sort of? Okay. Yeah, you could do that. We have this building over here as well. I know some people would actually go all the way back here and camp. Wait. Oh, this door opens now. Okay, so you can... Woo! This, I don't think ever used to be there. Like, people would just kind of camp back here with claymores in the original Modern Warfare 2 if they were like hardcore campers. But now we have a door here and you can get through this alleyway. That is a very small but impactful change to the map, without a doubt. Again, we'll have to go online and see how this map's actually going to play out, but it seems like it might actually be more maneuverable than it ever was. People could camp so easily for nukes on the original Modern Warfare 2 on this map. Even though you can still camp and now actually mount in some of these spots, I don't know if it's really going to matter. It's not like you can camp for a Harrier and a Chopper Gunner and then get an easy nuke, you know what I mean? Especially with the increased movement speed speeds and the slide canceling and stuff, I feel like this map could potentially play better than it did in the original. But only time will tell. We're going to move on to the next one. All right, our next map is actually Karachi. This one should be pretty interesting. Oh, dude. That sunset is already looking so good. I was really looking forward to Karachi. I just had a feeling this one was going to look really nice, and so far, it already does. Obviously, we got doors everywhere. <laughs> it's just how it is. Oh, can get on top of this now. Look at that. This is probably not going to have that much of an impact. Oh, wait, unless. Oh, that's a pretty nasty jump spot. I like that. Can we get on top of the bus? You can. Okay. Wow. Eh, maybe we can get there. Nope. Okay, you can't. There you go. Can we get... No, you can't get on top of that building. Okay. Just like I expected, though, the increased movement and the mantling and stuff. Wait. Oh! Into the spawn? No way. That is huge. I don't know exactly how that's going to affect the flow of the map, but from this alleyway now, you could just get right out of spawn, or if you're someone who's attacking, you could just get right into the enemy spawn. Dude, that's nuts. That is a huge change. This area also looks more open back here. We don't have the minigun in the back, which I, I wish that they would actually include those map elements. I don't know why they got rid of them. I know it's not like the biggest deal, but it was an original part of the map, and it's just gone now. I mean, it's been that way for a while, but I hope at some point we can get them back. Oh, this is new. I, at least I think so. I think this is a new camping spot. And, yep, you can get in this one, too. Oh, gross. Why? Okay, all this stuff is pretty much the same so far. Wait, can you jump to this? Yep, you can jump into this little building. They have a door here. Wait, no. Oh, that's... Okay, that's not actually a door. Yep, you can still hide in this little middle area over here, but... I think in the original, there was, like, a ladder or something. Or maybe you did have to do the jump. I feel like it might be easier to get up here and camp now. Yeah, look at that. Wow. So far, this building is the same. You can fall through here. Oh, look at that. It says love, hope, and peace. Thank you, Call of Duty. Wait, can you get back up over here? Look at that. Can, I, I'm trying to see. Can you jump? Oh, yeah, you can jump back up through here now. That's different. So far, a lot of this feels the same, but we do kind of have some new jump spots and some new spots. I don't know if you could get on top of this building in the original Modern Warfare 2, but yeah, this is a pretty easy jump, and I think... Oh, I missed it. I want to. I want to be able to prove that, though. Like, okay, we made it over here. Can we just, like, jump back in? Yeah, okay, that's pretty easy. Definitely good stuff to know, that's for sure. Can we jump on top of this? No. Okay, you can't. But yeah, man, Karachi is looking clean so far. The map is mostly the same, but there are some things that are different about it as well, and I'm sure we're gonna find some more things as we play the map some more. But we're moving on to the next one for now. Alrighty, guys, next map up is Quarry, which we technically had in Almazra, but it should be, you know, closer to the original now that we have a remastered map. We still got the big ladder to get on top of this building over here. No surprise there. A lot of dang trick shots have been hit up here, that's for sure. They didn't add a ladder over here, so that's all the same. You probably... Yep, you can get on top of that now. I was trying to see if you could maybe get on top of this and then make your way over to the window, but I don't think... Nope, you can't do that. Th wait, this could be an interesting one. So if you're over here on the map, you can climb on top of this, and yeah, you could just jump right into the window. That's pretty cool. Oh my god, they made these maps so much more maneuverable. Like, it's crazy, man. I'm not exactly sure how that's gonna play out for, like, predictability and flow and stuff, but I mean... Shit. 
You can still get all the way out here. Look at this. Wait. <gasps> no, we actually... Oh, they put, like, cooking stuff here so you can... No. Oh, my God. Actual beds and pizza for the camp... They, they have a whole camping area over here. They already know. <laughs> they already knew, dude. Dude, that is so funny. We have an actual camping spot Easter egg in this remake. <laughs> GG, Sludgehammer. GG. Can you get... Oh, you can get on top of stuff up here for some reason? I don't know why. I don't know if you could do that in the original, but uh, yeah, you can just get up here for some reason. Ooh. Okay, we have this over here. You can use this to kind of peek some of these spots. And you can just straight up climb over it now. I don't know if you could do that in the original. Can you get on top of this roof? You can, okay. I think you could get on the roof in the original as well. I'm gonna just tell you guys right now though, my memory of Quarry from Modern Warfare 2 is not serving me well at the moment. I feel like I've forgot everything. But I mean, in general, all of these maps are a lot easier to maneuver. Pretty neat. Oh, wait, we have a new spot over here. Look at that. This is new. At least I'm pretty sure. Wait, does that mean? Oh, so you can get to the dumpster, sandbags, crate, and then you're in the building. Dude, that's nuts. Wait, do, do we have another spot? Hold up, we have another entry point, another access point over here. That's, wait, maybe you don't? Oh no, you don't. What? Wait, so if you're back here, you can't mantle that. Okay. We're figuring it out as we go, man. So you can access the building from the front, but you can't from the back. And you can hit your trick shots with a pistol. Just kidding, no one's gonna do that. Okay, now we can move on to the next one. Alrighty guys, next map up is gonna be Rundown, which we really have not seen too much of, so this one should be pretty interesting. Yeah, definitely not Sunset anymore, that's for sure. I mean, we kinda knew that was gonna be the case, but when you're actually on the map, wow, this is completely different. Wow, look, at this is, this feels a lot more open over here. I swear there's like a lot more like foliage, more coverage and stuff. You, you can still kind of like wait over here. You can mount now. <laughs> oh, gross. Oh yeah, you can climb on, dude, you can climb like everything now. It's just, look, <laughs> don't tell me. Okay, good. I'm glad we can't climb every single building. There would be no flow, like no predictability. You just have people camping in all the most random spots. But they have obviously added some new things and you guys should know what that is. Like this building right here. That will have a pretty good line of sight to the middle and, you know, kind of give you some coverage over here. From what I can tell, you can't currently get on top of that building. Dude, this color palette is just nuts. I mean, this used to be a sunset map. It was actually pretty dark. They really brightened this map up. Like, it's completely different now in terms of the overall look of the map. It's, it's insane. It's just honestly insane. Look at that. You know, use all this over here. Oh, my. Wait. Oh, you're kind of blocked over here. Oh, that's a little weird. Okay. Can we, yeah, we can use that though. We can just jump right on top of that. Oh, we still have the dead cows over here. I mean, that was part of the original maps, but it, I don't know why it makes me sad. Now. I'm getting old, man. I don't want to see dead cows on the ground. It's just, it upsets me. I don't like to see animals hurt. All right, you cannot jump on top of that, but I kind of feel like they were hinting that you, oh no, you can. Oh, so from here, you can get on top of this building now. Wow, gonna have a lot of rooftop camping in these maps, man, holy. All right, yeah, it is significantly easier to get on top of the building over here now. Before, I think you had to take the stairs, so, like, putting up claymores here was a lot more important. But, I mean, I see what they're going for. By making the maps easier to maneuver, there might actually be less camping on them, but we'll have to wait and see how that plays out. Because, ultimately, whether people decide to rush or camp, that is based on the player. Obviously, the maps can facilitate certain play styles as well, but so far, it actually feels like it's gonna be more rush-heavy. Like, sure, you can get on top of more buildings, but you can also move more quickly. Hey, guys, check this out. So, we have, like, three dudes just hanging out. They're all playing Call of Duty. Meanwhile... Activision. Self-awareness. We still have this nasty little head glitch spot over here, which so many people will die to. Can you still do it? Yes. You can still watch this line of sight, and you can jump over here, get through there, and there should be another nasty little camping spot right here. Yep. Although, it looks like this is light cover, so people should be able to shoot through this pretty easily and kill someone hiding here, but yeah, people could be here too. Yeah. Whoa, I didn't really get a mantle, but I was able to kind of like Maneuver my way on top of that. I thought I kind of saw- no. I thought I saw an opportunity. We have a car, an awning, and then we have this little uh, balcony over here. But I don't think you can get on top of that. Teddy bear Easter egg in the playground right here. That's pretty cool. Wait, this isn't really a playground. It's a sandbox. Okay. You can climb on top of that. Whoa, hold up. Oh, dude! These spots are crazy, man. The different ways that you can maneuver around the middle area is ridiculous. Although, they kind of blocked this off. This is kind of an awkward one right there. Holy lord, wait, can we... Oh, you could just walk along this. That's huge. Can we also... I think you can do the same thing on this side. Wait. 
You can see into this building from here now. What in the hell? Oh my god. Okay, yep, yeah, you can camp there if you want to. I think this is... Yeah, okay, you eventually do fall. I... Oh, yep, yeah, you can mantle the bridge. So there you go. This is insane. This whole middle area has changed drastically. Now, I don't know if a lot of people are going to want to vote and play for Rundown, but... I think people might want to give it a second chance because this map is going to play significantly differently once people get accustomed to these different like spots. You know what I mean? Like the different ways to maneuver around the map because it's pretty different from the original. One thing that was very different about the original rundown is that people would kind of just like post up in certain spots and watch these lanes, but the map is more maneuverable now. So that might not work out as well for the people that like to camp a lot. Again, this is just me exploring the map, but I feel like it's going to play out differently without a doubt. Like you can play this map so much more differently than you could in the original. I mean, this is actually the same right there, like that little climb spot. But yeah, you get on top of these tires. You can't wait. Oh, you can. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know what that's going to be helpful for, but yeah, you can get on top of the tires over here. All right, we're almost out of time for TDM anyway, but I think we basically explored as much as we can for Rundown. And obviously, as time goes on, if you guys find any other crazy spots, definitely let me know in the comments below. If you find anything crazy as well, you can also tag me on Twitter. I'll check it out. It's at Merg Music. It's in the description of every video. Okay, so we have the little building over here. I don't remember if you could get here in the original, like this little side of the roof or... But I don't know what you want to call this, but I don't know if you could get there originally. Maybe you could. I got the little head glitch. So many people just camp up here, dude. <laughs> it's crazy. And I think... Yeah, wait. Hold on. Can you... Yeah, you can get up here, too. Jesus, look at that. Oh. Nasty little camping spots now, man. Some of these new spots and new ways to maneuver the map are going to play out so insanely for, like, Search and Destroy. I don't know if, you know, competitive headquarters is a thing, but it's 2023, so I think people would be more likely to be playing Hardpoint. So, yeah. Some of these spots that you can actually, like, shoot into now... For hard point, at least, that's gonna be crazy. But yeah, let's move on to the next map. But yeah, man, moving on to our next map, we have Rust, which, again, we had this in the beta. This one should go by really quick. Alrighty, lads, good old 1v1 me Rust. The map is really not all that different. Out of all the maps we're gonna look at right now, this one is probably the most similar to the original. Minus the little pipe that you could hide in. They got rid of that. We already knew that from the beta. I don't know if this is, like... A little bit of a teaser because we got like four people like maybe four people could hide in there before i don't know but what i do know is that you cannot get there anymore only other thing that i can note is that if you slide under here you'll go flying it's really awesome things are more climbable than before so you know you can climb them <laughs> great description yeah my brain's definitely not dying got a lot of stuff to play and record tonight guys so i'm sorry if i'm a little like out of it but yeah i mean it's rust a lot of people will try to get up here and camp and this, this is how it goes it, it's rust it really has not changed much. The layouts, the way that you get around the map, obviously, you know, it's a little bit easier now because of the movement and stuff. Like, how you can kind of do that now. I, yeah, it's Rust. We put, we had it in the bit. Let's move on to the next one. But speaking of small maps, we're moving on to Scrapyard. Now, we did have this in Modern Warfare 2019, but I'm really curious to see how it's going to play out with Sledgehammer's map design theory stuff. It's already looking good, man. Their skybox choices for these maps has been so beautiful. I mean, look at that. It looks so nice. We can still take the ladder up here and camp on this side. So that's, you know, pretty much the same. Can we climb this and just get on top? Yep, you can't. Look at that. That's what I'm saying. This is what's so different about the way that they kind of design the maps. It's so much easier to get up to these spots, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be better. Like, if you're up here, people will see you. You're right out in the open. But what it is potentially good for is trick shotting. Like, it's really easy for people to get up here and do their shots and, you know, trick shot. You can get on top of this thingy. Can jump to that oh my goodness look at that wait oh i don't know if you're supposed to be up here this could be our first actual glitch oh i slipped off <laughs> but yeah you could jump on top of this crate you could jump to these barrels and it looks like you can get stuck there if you aim at a certain spot i don't know how i did it that was crazy i feel like they're probably gonna fix this because i can't imagine that they want people to actually get on top of these little uh wood plank thingies all right we can jump on top of this can we get on yep oh okay you can actually get on top of this stuff over here D wait don't tell me do you guys see it too? Need to get on top of the forklift. No, you can't jump. I, I swear I thought we were going to be able to like camp up here in the middle now. Look at that. But they deny us access to that. I mean, camping up here would just be disgusting. It's the last thing this map would need. All right, can we jump on top of this? Okay, you cannot jump on top of that. Okay. Wh oh, you can get on top of this now. That's different. Look at that. Oh my god. I'm sure you can get on top of this one as well. Yep, there you go. 
Okay. From what I can tell so far, it looks like getting on top of certain spots in the middle of the map is a lot more easy. Camping up here might not be as useful. I mean, I feel like they moved this head glitch over here that would counter this spot. Yeah, this head glitch actually looks lower again. So you... Oh, wait. You can crouch. You can mount. Okay. But by default, this looks lower than the original head glitch in Modern Warfare 2. It feels like if you're standing here, it's only covering like maybe half of your body. So, you know, if you peek this corner, you might want to try to like mount first or something and then crouch to this spot to kind of counter people up here because it's not going to be as safe to do so. Okay, so here's kind of an interesting one. You can climb on top of the forklift, jump onto these cases over here, and you can at least like approach a gunfight over here in a different way. But aside from that, Scrapyard seems like it's mostly the same. Not seeing anything too crazy, but there's just certain spots that are easier to mantle than before. So yeah, let's move on to the next one. Alrighty guys, our next map here is going to be Skid Row. We did have this one in the beta, so this one should go by pretty quickly as well. Now without a doubt, Skid Row is actually the most similar and straightforward map I've seen. What you need to know is that, again, there's no minigun in the back over here that like overwatches the middle. I'm pretty sure they changed this, but I think there used to be a window or like a wall bangable spot here. That's why they put an X here in the remaster because I don't think you can actually shoot through that into the building on the other side. On top of that as well, if we go down the hallway over here, you can still kind of like hide here, but I feel like you're not given as much space and it's just not as useful. But this is kind of like a little safe spot as you're making your way through this little area. Another thing to note is that you can easily use the semi truck to get up here. There is a hard point here when you're playing hard point, so that's pretty useful. Now there was a little glitch spot back here in the beta, but I kind of think that they would have had it fixed by now. But let's test it out real quick. Could just... Oh, wait. Okay, maybe that's intentional. Look at that. Yeah, you can get here now. Weirdly enough, it looks like they made this easier to access than before. I mean, that's just... I don't, I don't know why. It's not like it's a terrible thing. I don't think you'll see a lot of people there. But, I mean, hey, you can get there. Use the spot if you want to. We have interactable pigeons now. That's pretty cool. Girl, New York. I'm, I'm a pigeon. I'm flying here. Okay, we need to move on to the next one. Alrighty, boys. Our next map is sub base. I'm actually really curious to see this one. There's a lot of talk about how you'll be able to swim in this map, but we'll have to wait and see. The map is covered in snow. It's freezing. I don't know why we would be swimming on this map in the first place, but let's check it out. I can already see it. I already see it. Look at that. You can swim all the way over. What's the point? I mean, it's not like it's terrible, but... Why would we ever need to be out here swimming? Look at- Oh, look at that. It just exists. It's a thing. No one's gonna be doing that. I, what's the point? Unless you're just gonna, like, goof around with six people and search and destroy, and, like, all six of you are hiding. Oh my god, S six people could stand on all of these little pillars. Dude, that actually be pretty funny. That will be great for some tactical search and destroy, like, goofing around and stuff. We'll definitely have to do that. <laughs> but aside from that, like, there's no point of swimming out there. Can you get onto the submarine? You cannot. So we have more water. I guess this is just like an alternate way to get around. If you don't want to get like camped on from people up here. But yeah, there's water all over here. But it's completely optional and overall pointless. I feel like it might make a difference for hardpoint rotations and search and destroy for like competitive play. But for online matches, like who cares? I'm not saying it is a bad thing. I'm just saying it's overall just pointless. Like it doesn't really make a big difference, you know? I could be wrong, but I mean, if you're someone that's camping up here, you'll still see people swimming in the water going up to the ladder. So really not a big deal. Wait a second, except for over here. If you're in this corner, you can jump up here and yet, yeah, okay, that's different. That'll make it pretty easy to get around this section of the map now. And people who are like camping up here, it's not going to be as effective since you can just jump right up to the spot. Pretty interesting stuff. Oh my God. I remember when people would just get spawn trapped back here in this corner. Wait, can you get on top of these things? Oh, you can't wait. Oh my Dude, that's crazy. This is a ridiculous spot to be in. Wow. Okay, that's actually really cool. Okay, so that's got me curious now. We can probably jump to this one then. Can we get to this thing? Well, okay, you can get on top of that, but I don't think you can get much high. Wait, <laughs> you can mount on this? Okay, I don't get what the point of that would be, but you can do it if you want to. Yeah, you can really get like way out here. I don't know if that was part of the original, but all this area can be swammed on. Swammed is a word. Yeah, okay. You can't really go around that corner over there, so that's off limits. There's no, like, crazy underground system from what I can tell. Like, you can't cross to the other side of the map from the underwater section, which I'm glad is the case. Like, we don't want to ruin the map flow with all this crazy underwater stuff. But yeah, subbase for the most part, it's looking very similar to the original. Obviously, we have swimming now, and there's some certain spots that you can get to that, you know, might have been harder to access before, even, like, these little jump-up spots in the middle. But, like, it's nothing too crazy. Like, sure, you can get on top of the car, you can jump to this, and then get right up here. I mean, you couldn't do that in the original, but... 
the map is just easier to access now. But as far as it goes for the overall map, it's still very similar to the original Modern Warfare 2. So let's move on to the next one. Alrighty, boys, we have the map from Modern Warfare 2 Terminal. Obviously, it's been remastered a lot and it's been brought back into a lot of Call of Duty games, but for a good reason. Modern Warfare 2 Terminal is an absolute classic, so we're gonna take our time with this one. And obviously, we got the Sniper and ACR class. It's, it's just perfect for this map. So far, everything is pretty much looking the same. Can we lay down and shoot that one red barrel and then blow up the thing? Did they? I think they got rid of that. Is there nothing to blow up over here? Yeah, oh my god, they got rid of the uh, little pipe that explodes. There is a red barrel right here though, but that that's definitely not the same. Wait, can you even blow that up? Am I tripping? I am. Yeah. Oh, that's not a red barrel. It's an, kind of an orange. These you can blow up. You can't blow up that one, though. That just goes to show how out of it I am right now, but I'm pushing through. Yep, you can still snipe into the plane from here. Mm, yeah, so we can do our makeup over here. You know, it's so interesting. We don't actually have real-time reflections on these mirrors. You can't break them. You can shoot them, but yeah. Okay, let's not get too distracted with that. We have other things to check out. Now, one thing you could do in the original Modern Warfare 2 is you could throw a Simtex through here, or like a grenade or a throwing knife. I don't think you'll be able to in Modern Warfare 3. I want to try to test that out, but I have the wrong equipment on this class. Like, okay. All right, let's see if you can do it. You cannot. It will stick to the outside. You cannot throw equipment through here anymore. Can we actually jump to the middle? Okay, no, you can't. Good. Gotta have some kind of map flow here, guys. But it looks like you can very easily get on top of the airplane now. All right, maybe not. No, I swear you can. Okay, maybe not on the nose of the plane. Let's check that out. Though. Wait, oh. That was, that was kind of like an awkward climb. What the? Can we get out to the wing at least? Yep, we can get to the wing of the plane. And jump to this. Can we... Maybe you can't get on top of the plane. I'm sure people will try to find out a way, especially for trickshotting, but maybe you can't. It's not too hard to get on the wing of the plane, though, but that's not, like, as impactful as actually getting all the way, like, on top. Like people would in the original Modern Warfare 2 and then hit some crazy trick shots, you know? You were in the back of the plane. You can still get, like, back here and kind of hide. Yo, that is... Whoa, okay, wait, that's weird. You can kind of mount... Oh, yeah, you can kind of mount and head glitch back here if you're getting stuck back in spawn. Dude, that is weird. Long shots to over here on the plane. That is ridiculous. It might be useful for people who are having a hard time getting out of the spawn, though, but I just don't want people, like, camping in spawn, you know what I mean? We'll have to see how it plays out when we can actually get it online. Can you still hide in between here? No, I don't think you can. Wow. Wait. Oh, my... Okay, so you can climb all the way up here now. Can, can we get on top of that? No? Okay, you can't. Can you just... Oh, you can just jump straight up here. Wow. Okay, so who needs the ladder anymore? Okay, that is definitely new. You can't jump on top of that thing, though. I don't know why I feel like you can actually mantle that and climb it, but I don't think you can. Also, right here, it says the cave and then something... I think airport? I don't know. I, I can't read Russian. Yep, you can get back here. Can sort of camp? And try to pick people off from here. It's not the best spot, but some people will use this as like a hiding spot. But yeah, that's Terminal in Modern Warfare 3. Some things are the same, but there are also some different things as well as we've come to expect so far for this video. But from what I can tell so far, it's nothing too crazy. I mean, yeah, sure, you can get up here and like lay down if you want, but they didn't necessarily add or subtract anything too major in Terminal. And I would assume for the most part, the map should play out like it did in the original. But obviously, there's going to be some different things here and there. But yeah, that's Terminal. Let's move on to the next one. All right, our second to last map is going to be Underpass. So far, it's actually actually looking kind of stormy and darker than it was in the original, but we'll have to see once we actually load in. Okay, yeah, it's not too bad. You know, it's like stormy overcast, but it's not like overly dark. All right, let's see what we got. You can get up here now for God knows what reason. I don't know. If they added the grandma Easter egg to this, that would be amazing. I don't know exactly how to do it, but I mean, that video was fake anyway. It was just a little prank, a little meme. But if they would have actually added something like that on the map officially, that'd be crazy. It'd be an amazing nod to that video. I know I shot the four corners, but I don't really remember exactly how to do it. But yeah, so far, everything in the middle is pretty much the same. The map looks ridiculous in a good way. So far, it's actually pretty true to the original design. I mean, we can still get up here in the middle. I know people would snipe and trick shot from up top over here. Okay, this might be different. Look at this. Can climb on top of this now and get up here. That is definitely new. Can also get on top of that, but wait, oh, 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 that's completely new. Look at that. That, that is some interesting stuff right there. Yeah, honestly, Underpass will make for an insane Mike Myers map. It was pretty good for that kind of stuff in the original, and it will be even better, I'm sure, in Modern Warfare 3. Wait, wait, do you guys see it? Yep, that's completely new as well. You can get up here now, and I think it's a one-sided jump up, so I don't think people from the other side will be able to get there. Oh, we got a door here now. Dude. This is crazy. It's very interesting because for the most part, these maps are the same as the old ones, but they've added some new things here and there. Look at this. Oh, 
We got a fourth one now. Wait, is Activision nearby? I don't know. We got this over here. Look at that. So we got like a little head glitch, sort of. What the? <laughs> All the ambient noises on the map are really funny too. Got like a bunch of honking going on. So interesting. Look, you can still get like way back here and hide if you want to. Can you jump on top of this still? I, I swear you could in the original. Maybe from this side you still can. Let's see. Yep. Okay, you can still get on top of the little propane tank or whatever this is right here. But I don't think you can do it from the front. I think you have to do it from the back. I swear there's like less cars, less coverage over here now. But yeah, man, so far underpass, it's pretty much the same, but there are some new quirks here and there on the map. But yeah, so far that's all I've found and we're gonna be moving on to our last map now. Dude, I am beat right now, but we have our last map in Modern Warfare 3, which is Wasteland. You know, if you are gonna play this map online, definitely look out for noob tubes flying through the sky because there is a good chance that people might be still trying to do that from the original Modern Warfare 2. Now, whether or not it's actually effective and if it works, we're gonna have to test that later. Because right now for offline multiplayer, we only have a limited selection of weapons to use. I know it says we can edit the classes, but if I click square, we can't even change anything. So yeah. Oh. Oh, dude, this is looking like green and brown and poopy. <laughs> I kind of see what they were going for. I mean, I think compared to the original, it actually is a little bit more vibrant, but I don't know. It looks kind of gross. I would imagine that this map, compared to all the other maps, is probably going to be the most similar. This is a layout that's been around for a very long time, and I don't think there's anything that really should be changed or anything that really can be changed. We have the middle of the map on Wasteland, which is probably where the most amount of action happens. But even this looks pretty much identical to Modern Warfare 2. You can bust out a sniper. You can snipe people coming through. I mean, yeah. One of the craziest things you could do in the original Modern Warfare 2, it wasn't just for Wasteland. It was for some other maps as well. But you could do the little painkiller glitch. It was one of the death streaks that gave you extra health. You could use that and just run outside the map and you would not die. Oh, we have the little Geiger counter again. That's pretty cool. Let's you know that you're getting close to the edge and that you might actually die if you keep going. Let's see. Oh, wait. Uh, this is maybe different getting on top of this building over here. I mean, it's wasteland, man. We have map voting back in Modern Warfare 3, and I feel like a lot of people are not necessarily going to want to play this map. Unless you can cross map noob tube and get a 7 and 1, then call in a Harrier, then earn your chopper gunner, and then get a nuke and get the world's fastest nuke, but that's not happening. That is reserved for Modern Warfare 2, and we're not going to see any of that kind of funny business in Modern Warfare 3. Yeah, I've already been around the entire map. The only thing to note is that there's no miniguns on the map. Which, again, kind of a bummer. It was just a staple of the original maps, but we don't have it anymore. It's because it's not balanced. It doesn't allow for tactical gameplay. But yeah, man. It's a wasteland from Modern Warfare 2. It... <laughs> Not much else to say. But yes, that is going to do it for my most likely very long video covering all the hiding spots and glitches and overall just a quick little map tutorial showing you guys what these Modern Warfare 2 OG maps are like in Modern Warfare 3. So with that being said, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me cover all of the Modern Warfare 3 maps in this little video. No way, it's a little video. When the full game is out and we have access to the full multiplayer, I could do in-depth map tutorials like I used to. But again, these are just remasters and remakes of the original Modern Warfare 2 maps. So I think for the most part we know how to play these maps but still it was pretty cool to go into private match early and check out the maps and be able to share the similarities and differences with you guys and with that being said i really do hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did it and you want to see some more new modern warfare 3 stuff make sure to drop a like see you guys later